I'm no watch it better. I'm a head severance assistant for Chantuntu area, which is composed of 11 villages in Kasungu. My job is to treat under five children against uh, uh, common diseases that are here. Malaria, uh, pneumonia, uh, conjunctivitis, uh, and diarrhea. Once every month I have to travel to the health center in order to collect medicines and other supplies, which is 16.5 kilometers one way, meaning to say that I have to cover about 33 kilometers. So during the rainy season, I have to use a, a longer route because there is a river that is not passable during the rainy season. So I have to use a longer way, which is about 35 kilometers one way. If I am out of this clinic, there is nobody to treat the children. And they have to wait for me for the whole day. Yes, ma'am. In Malawi, 80% of the areas is rural, so especially in these remote villages which are very hard to reach, social services such as health is, is very hard to get to the people. And health surveillance assistants, they struggle a lot to connect all the villages and provide them with a health service. And drones could assist uh, local health uh, service providers to, for example, transport medicine or bring diagnostics back to the health center. So we hope that drones can close that gap. Another use case of drones is imagery, mainly we're exploring now the image we use for emergencies, both as a response, and a response can be search and rescue in the first hours and after that damage assessment to inform the responders on the ground to be able to have a more efficient response. But also the preparedness, especially in Malawi, floods are a reoccurring national disaster. So the preparedness of floods and knowing what the risks are is also a very important part and community engagement is very important in that case because the communities through the drones in aerial view can see what the risks are and how the water levels would rise. Well it's a very exciting moment we will launch um, the humanitarian um, corridor for testing of drones here in Malawi and basically it will be a 5000 square kilometer corridor which is very big for UAV um, testing standards and it will be a real life corridor in the sense that this is real human life that's happening here in this 5,000 square kilometers with its um, schools, with its health centers, with its environmental challenges. Therefore we can really test applications and use of drones that is relevant for the children and the communities here in Malawi and in the world. The drone system will make my life easier because I will not be moving the long distance that I'm talking about to collect the supplies from the health center.